Days after the passing away of Buruji Kashamu, Obasanjo writes another letter and I am not corrupt, AGF Malami says. This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladendi. Welcome back. This is Plus Politics. The death of former Senator representing Ogun is Buruji Kashamu, who died from complications of uh, COVID-19, has caused condolences to pour in from several quarters. The death also caused former President Olusha Gwabasanjo to write another controversial letter. In his condolence letter written to Governor Dakpo Abiodun of Ogun State, the former president's letter was laced with several insinuations and innuendos that reflected the difficult relationship between the diseased and the former president. Several responses have been generated as a result of the letter, and one is that of former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi, who has condemned Obasanjo for his comment. Joining us to discuss this is the writer of that comment, the former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi. Good evening, sir. Good evening to you. How are you today? Yeah, I'm doing great and I'm doing very fine. Yeah, uh, without uh, wasting any further time, let's get talking. Um, some people have said that um, without sentiment, that probably this is another subtle way of Ayodele Fayoshi playing to the gallery, that um, what is wrong with somebody expressing what he meant right from his heart? What do you have to say to that uh, criticism against you? Well, uh, I, I think by now, Nigerians know what I represent, what I stand for. I am not uh, going to to begin to play to the gallery for, for, for nothing. If opportunity had come my way in this country, it's just enough for me to thank God and to begin to lend my voice to, to issues that need to be well, well positioned in the overall interest of our country. I sympathize with Buruji Kashamu and his family particularly. He was a friend. But at the point of his departure, we were not close. But our differences as individuals must not be unto death. That in, it is, in itself is hate. What Obasanjo did, Obasanjo's statements, could be classified as an hate speech, ungodly and unfair. Buriji Kashamu worked with Obasanjo severally in so many intrigues, political intrigues in Okun State. You will recall that Buruji Kashamu and Obasanjo, Obasanjo went to Buruji Kashamu's um, foundation in 2010, praising Buruji Kashamu, talking good about Buruji Kashamu. He used Buruji Kashamu to fight Benga Daniel. He promised Buruji Kashamu to give him a senator at the time. Now Buruji Kashamu is no longer alive. Obasanjo is now running his mouth. That is unethical, unfair, and ungodly. You see, when I read that, I come to ask myself, what would be the rationale behind this letter? Sympathizing with the dead and the family of the dead. Nobody speaks ill of the dead. But even if you have to send a letter of condolence, leave it at that. So let me say very expressly, Obasanjo should stop playing, playing the a, 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 a man who is a saint. Obasanjo is not a saint. When Obasanjo came out of prison, Otafam was, was, um, was in shambles. Today, Otafam, where did the money for, 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 for putting it back, where did it come from? From government. The library, all governors at my time contributed 10, 10, 10, 10 million naira to support Obasanjo by force. The total agenda of Obasanjo is still in our, is still fresh in our memory. So Baba should stop telling us he's a saint. Okay. Shagari uh, was uh, not good enough. Um, he imposed Shagari on Nigerians. Okay. He brought Yaradua. He brought Jonathan. Nobody Mr. Fire Obasanjo Mr. Fire except Obasanjo. We, we, so let me say to you, Obasanjo has made hate speech and should be brought to book by this government. That's a, that's Whatever you say about Buruji Kashamu, Buruji Kashamu, 
has spent his own, pay his own due, spent his time. No court convicted him, and he left. He departed this world. Everybody will have a name. Let us see how Obasanjo will. Okay, have. before you let's watch. Before you go further, before you go further, I, I remember that, that your comment that you said everybody has an end, and I think that is indisputable. But let's look at the content of this letter. In, in his, uh, I, I'm sure they will uh, show us the picture very soon. One of the things he said is that I received the sad news of the death of Senator uh, Esho Jinodu. Let's look at that statement. That tells you that it was actually a condolence. So what is wrong with the way he started that letter before he now went into the issue of you may have escaped justice, but you didn't escape death? Is, is there anything wrong in... <laughs> Excuse me, has Obasanjo himself not escaped, escaped uh, uh, justice? Obasanjo was already in prison, ready to be, to be ready to go down before he was brought back to be president of Nigeria. Let us look back before we judge another. Obasanjo is not in position to judge anybody. And that is why he must not try me at all. If Obasanjo speaks ill of me, me, I'm not dying, I'm alive. If Obasanjo speaks ill of me, me, I will take him to the cleaners. I want to tell you expressly. Obasanjo has lost relevance now. Look at everywhere. He can't go to the villa again. When he talks too much, when he wants to be the father of what he did not, uh, he did not plant, then he will become a, a, a but, false father. Mr. Fayoshi. So let me say to you expressly, let me say to you expressly that Obasanjo misgoofed, misfired, about the, about the death of Buru Kashamu. Whatever you say about Kashamu, he has put in his best. Mr. Fayashi. He has done what he could do. No Nigerian court has convicted a Buruji. I'm not saying Buruji has done well or has not done well, but I'm not in position to judge him. Uh, 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 anybody judging anybody, we will see how you Mr. Fayashi, Mr. Fayashi, I'm sorry, let's digress a bit because a lot of people are watching and I can imagine some of the things some of them would like to ask you. Now, if you say Obasanjo talks too much, some people have also accused you of talking too much. You recall the, the prior to the I 2015 I election. I I, I'm, not, I'm, I'm coming, sir. No, sir. I'm coming, sir. When, you, Listen, when it has to do yeah. with the 2015 election, when you even did an advertorial and people said you went too far. So is it okay for you to say about Fosso Joe talks too much? Listen, listen. Can you? Very well. We can, can you hear, hear you. Very well, sir. Okay. You see, let's put it in perspective. Obasanjo Joe is an elderly man. He stands in reconciliation more than battles. Obasanjo is, you see, he, he probably will tell you he's 80 years, but you know the way they do those days. When they will tell you they are 80, you're already 85. You understand? Obasanjo that I know should be in reconciliation. It should not be a man finding a, a, a game like me. Even if I say things, people like Obasanjo should tell us, don't say that. Not that Obasanjo will be saying, and with results that will be carrying flog, carrying cane to go and say, Obasanjo, stop that. There's nothing even this president is doing now that Obasanjo did not do. He has no moral grounds to be saying a few things. You see, it's very painful when you are talking about the dead. It's hurting. It's hurting. He said he escaped from facing justice, alleged criminal offenses. Is Obasanjo a saint? Because when you, when you, okay, what, what do we say about Obasan Johnson coming out to talk about his father in, in infidelity with his daughter? What do you say to that? If I were in Obasan Johnson's shoes, I would keep my mouth shut perpetually, even with that alone. Somebody coming to say, my father slept with my wife. That alone is, is, is dirty, is dirtier so it, than corruption. But is it okay? For his father okay, at his age. So you are so set. Don't let us go to uh, as much you as say, you don't, if you say I, 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 I talk too much, I take I agree with you because I say my mind. It's not my mind. A lot point, of people anyway. are under their wives' beds now. That's their not, wives can they, can they are they are worse off than their wives. Nigeria is do, going through what we are going through. Many people we used to hear of uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari. We used to hear of Femi Falana. We used to hear of uh, Ganifaye when he means of his world. Where are they now? Are they not under the bed the the the, the, the bed of their wives? They've all gone moot. They were the ones telling us a lot of things in, in 2015. Where are they now? Look at the challenges in our country. Look at the, 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 the foil issue. Look at the, uh, the, the, the crimes. Look at the, 
the kidnapping, look at the Boko Haram attacks, look at the killing in Southern Kaduna. What are we talking about? Okay. Talking, you can talk much, but you express and defend the average man on the street. Majority of these people are talking about, they are, they are now mute. They can't say a word anymore. Okay, uh, uh, we will come back to, we will stay with this issue of uh, uh, Buruji Kashamu because I know there are a lot of issues we would love to talk about. You started talking about some of them. But still staying on this, we want to, for some people, they believe that don't add emotion. You recall what happened to the, the uh, uh, when, uh, when we lost the former governor of your state and people were saying, no, the current governor should have gone, the current governor shouldn't have gone. And people now began to dig up some issues. So that somebody is dead, is it enough not to mention things that affect you and I? For example, I'm just talking beyond Kashamu now. You recall what happened when we, when we lost the likes of uh, Sani Abacha. The whole world, I mean, if not the whole part of uh, the South, went into jubilation. So what do we have to learn about doing good when you are alive? <laughs> we can hear you. Now, listen, I agree with you. If you are bad, you are bad. But the question to ask you, you are sending a condolence to the governor of Okun State. And you have been linked and traced to a relationship with Buruji Kasham. Why must you, why must Anobasan just speak from two sides of the mouth? Why? The question is this. Obasan was at Omoilu Foundation 2010. Went to praise Buruji Kashamu. Obasanjo used Buruji Kashamu to fight Winga Daniels. These are facts, these are public issues. What I'm saying to you is that a bad man in life is a bad man in death. In mm. death. But what we are saying in the circumstance that we are in now, I want to say expressly that Obasanjo is not a saint, it does not have moral, moral justification. When Obasanjo wants to use, use you, you are the best. When you refuse to be used, you are the worst. That is true. That is the story. Because so I agree, a bad man is a, remains a bad man, whether in life or in death. I'm not contesting that. Okay, because uh, some of the things he said, he also described Buruji Kashamu as a significant citizen of Ogun State. And probably what he had in mind is what you just oh. mentioned. What you just mentioned, I remember the Omo Ilu, and I remember how he also supported you when you vied for governorship. And I remember how you fell out with uh, Buruji Kashamu. Probably the lesson you're telling us here is that even though you had, uh, you know, squabble with the former senator, it is okay to overlook those things. Is that what you're saying? So that we learn the lesson. Yes. There was no place... May I say to you that there was no place that I took Buruji Kashamu up even when he was writing against me. That is him. That is Buruji Kashamu. Like I said to you, we were not close until it, uh, his departure. But that is not enough. You will still find one good in, in every man. And it's not when it's this hot that you still want to put salt on in injury or upon injury for the family. It was a hot moment for that family. Barely one hour after Obasanjo put in that letter, it's, it's, it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not kind of him. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't stomach that. It's not as if I'm saying Buruji Kashamu did well or didn't do well. That's not my, that's not my take. We are all going to be in, before God one day. I'm praying one day I will become president of this country by God's grace. God will give me that chance. That Obasanjo will go back to prison. I'm telling you the truth. That's a very because there's so many things Obasanjo must be questioned about. So many things. Don't that's you see very, contradiction in that? That's a very strong one. He, 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 he's the major citizens of Ugu State. In another hand, the other one was negative. So which one do we believe? Okay, okay. Uh, okay, uh, Mr. Fayoshi, let's leave the issue of Buruji now. I, I saw you in one of those videos when we had uh, Agbola, the deputy governor of uh, Ondo State, moving to PDP. As we speak, he has left PDP. What do you have to say about that? Let me see. Do I go on? Go ahead. We can hear you. Yeah, you see? 
for any anybody joining the party, we are to be. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed we are supposed to be there as leaders, joining our party, adding increasing, increasing our size, our number, and all that. And I, I saw that in good faith. But anything outside that, you count me out. We 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 must know where to draw the curtain. Agola will tell me he has an ambition. But now Agola's ambition is now over ambition. Hmm. It represents nothing good for the West. And I don't want people to overdo things. And I'm saying it again, that for anything that will tell, tell me Agola has moved out of a PDP, then it is unfortunate, not only for him, for everything he represents. On the other hand, some people will sit back and say, what are, what what are kids was saying about him, the governor from those states was saying about him, is probably true. So it's, it's, it's sad. It's unfortunate. I, 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 I don't believe that we must jump and jump. And I want to say to you, politicians, we don't know where to stop until we get the other side of the boat. I wish him luck. Whatever comes out of what he's doing, good luck to him. Because but I would never be part of such. Because for some of us who are still very, very conversant with contemporary history, we may also remind uh, Mr. Fayoshi that uh, Mr. Fayoshi has also gone to another party sometime. So what is wrong in trying your luck? Because according to him, he said that uh, the people want him to contest for governor. I, I, ne I never said he cannot. Okay. Listen. So why is he over ambitious? I never said he cannot. I never said he cannot. I'm only saying we should know where to draw the curtain. That is my message to him. Okay. You can jump. You can even leave uh, Zenith Labour and go to another party. That's your message. And it's you for choice. But may I say to you, may I say to you, uh, if you don't know where to, to draw the curtain, you mess up, you mess up yourself. Okay, let's talk about your home state now. Uh, people would say that uh, as popular as Fai or she, uh, is, especially in the Kitty politics, he seems to be losing ground in his own state. And we have uh, uh, Senator Olujimi, you know, dragging, doing what contemporary people would call the bragging right in uh, a Kitty state. Is it true that your power has actually whittled down in your home state? Looking at the Congo. May I say to you that uh, everybody has his own, everybody has everybody has their own time. I don't know if it, I, I want to say that everybody has their own time. Times. I don't want to struggle with anybody. I am not contesting an election, and uh, I am not going to struggle with anybody. But for you, for the mention of uh, Senator Biodu Lujimi, to God be the glory. She was one time my deputy. She was one time my special advisor. She was one time, by the grace of God and my support, she went to a House of Reps. By God's grace and my support, she went to the Senate. So I will remain forever a benefactor, which means I am not going to join issues with Senator Olujimi. Whether Olujimi is the leader in the Kitty, time will tell. Mm. I, I still love all of them. I love her because for what politics represents, people forget their benefactors so soon. They say all, all sorts. But because I'm the leader, I must be in the, in the saddle and the position of a leader. I wish that it will be the best. And I want to say to you, in Yoruba land, I know my, my own, my own knows me. In the Kitty politics, I have made my marks. And I, until tomorrow, if I go to a Kitty, you know what that means. But for now, I don't want to join issues with Senator Jimmy. Uh, uh, we are not expecting you, sir, to join issues with that, but we just need a bit of clarity. You just mentioned a while ago that, by God's grace, you will become the president of Nigeria. And it is important for us to know how strong is, pardon my language, Ushu Kumole <laughs> still in his home state. Let, 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 me, let me correct you. I never said that. I have not shown intention to run for presidential race. I said, if God will give me that opportunity okay. in a lifetime to be president of Nigeria, I will investigate Obasanjo, especially on issues of Ali Botin and the issues of the third term and many more. And I can tell you that Obasanjo will return to jail. 
We, it, but do you that's have for another day. Do you have On the issues president? of politics of Ikiti, there's no election in the next two years. For me to stand there and be saying I'm popular, I'm not popular, it's, it's relevant. In the meantime, Nigerian, Nigerian electoral process still needs to be overhauled. The moment there is money sharing, there is this violence, there is still that, you don't know who is popular. However, we have a governor on the seat right now. He's still got two years to go. We are not ready for battle now. When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Before you go, let's also quickly get your take on what is going on in... Uh, you've talked a bit about uh, Undo. Let's look at Edo State. And some have said that um, uh, Governor Baseki is driving to become a dictator. Looking at what uh, 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 um, Senator Tinubu did say, do you share that sentiment? You've been in that position before. <clears throat> Edo is a very complex one, very, very complex. But let me be very sincere with you. I am not a fan of Obasiki. I am not a fan of Oshio hmm. But to me, what goes around in life will come around. I wish all of them the best. I wish you can break it down before you go, sir. What do you mean by what goes around? Well, let me around. leave it like that, because I'm a party man. I don't want to create crisis anywhere. But let me say to you, I am not a fan of Obasiki. I am not a fan of Oshio they both played negative roles in the Denikiti election. Mm. That is why it is easy for Governor Fayemi to be supporting Obaseki at the same time, while the PDP is supporting uh, Obaseki. But whatever it is, we leave them, we leave them to tomorrow. But for me, life is a circle. There's nothing we do that will not come around. Yeah, yeah, I, I stand to be corrected and if anybody probes into this matter, I will explode. Hmm. Wow. B sorry, my producer just If said, anybody probes into this statement, I will explode I in am, a big way. I am one of the anybody now, and I dare to prove, sir. Not, not somebody like you. You are very small in poly political issues. You are very small. You are small fry in political issues. <laughs> okay, probably that's your opinion. I, I, know, I know the people that can make statements. When they make that statement... Either on Oshomole or on Obaseki, they will have, they have it fire for fire. Hmm. The things that will come out of my mouth will do more good, more damage than good. So let me seal my mouth okay. like that and why, leave it why, why you see closed. You, why you see Don't forget mouth. that this life, eh, when God is in the business, in norm, are you saying something? No, no, I'm listening. When God is in a business, God has a way of doing things. I wish Obaseki the, uh, Obaseki the best. But I'm not a fan of Obaseki in PDP. I'm not a fan, I'm not a fan of Ushio Male in APC. Not until we all learn to remember that that will be tomorrow, we will not get far in life. Most things will haunt us. So many things will haunt us. Obaseki will win this election. But let me tell you, I won't be surprised if Obaseki returns to APC one day. Hmm. Finally. I won't be surprised. Fine. Obaseki will win this election hmm. because Oshio Omele too is a very bad man. Obaseki may win this election. But, but if he wins this election, I will not be surprised if Obaseki turns his back on the likes of my friend Wiki and others who are, who are who they, they are fighting to that nail for him. But we should remember that I said it. That time, this video, I pray Obaseki will not allow us to play this video. Because those of the people in the PDP now, mm. he must keep his agreement with them. He must keep his agreement with them because they kept the party before it's coming. Finally, finally, and I promise you this is the final one. <laughs> I'd like to quickly get your take in 60 seconds on the issue in Southern Kaduna since uh, you've always talked on many national That issues. is, uh, that is et ethnic cleansing. Ethnic? Nothing but ethnic cleansing. That is ethnic cleansing. I've said that times without number. That he, there's no ideal society. There's no, no country that, that you have sane leadership that will allow a particular people who are seen purely to be of a particular religion, of a particular uh, extraction, to be wiped away daily.
But we understand it it's from both sides. I've said this while I was in office. We understand it's both and sides. And I'm saying it again. I'm saying it again. It is time for us to stop that killing at all costs. Mr. President should stop that killing. That's not right. Okay. That is not right. Thank you so much, Hayat Dele Fayoshi, former governor of Ikiti State, for your time and your thought. We expect that uh, when it's time for you to explode, we'll be honored to have you in our studio to say more on as this As long issue. as nobody attacks me on that statement, if the moment there's an attack, in fact, my statements will be unpleasant. But for me, we remain in PDP. Okay. And I want to encourage as many people who are in the party Nobody outside must be brought to come and take over the seat of those in the party. That should not be the way to the way to operate. People should not come from outside. After some people must have kept the party going, and somebody does that. If that happens in Ekiti, it's it's it's. I I, I pray that that will never happen. May God help us all. Thank you once again, Ayo Delifayoshi, former governor of Ekiti State. And to our viewers, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami, declares that he is not corrupt. We'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs>